this week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to the frozen waters of Green Bay for the annual Outdoor Bound TV Walleye and Whitefish Weekend, hosted each year by former tournament pro Dale Strohshine at his Sand Bay Beach Resort just south of Sturgeon Bay. Dale will be sharing some tips and strategies as we head out onto the ice for a fun-filled weekend of walleye and whitefish action. Awesome buck. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Available at your local Triggs grocery store. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know that spending time with your family is important. That's why we won't waste your time with any high-pressure sales tactics or extended service wait time. Just fair and affordable pricing on new and pre-owned vehicles and honest, straightforward service long after the sale. Ram 1500, Border Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Not once, but twice. That's right, twice. Whether you're from near or far, we want you to feel right at home at Colby Chrysler. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we travel to famous Green Bay, Wisconsin for the Outdoor Bound TV Walleye and Whitefish Weekend, held each year at Dale Strohshine's Sand Bay Beach Resort, just south of Sturgeon Bay. Now, Dale will be taking the group out onto the ice in the morning for some of those famous Green Bay walleyes, and then during midday, we'll be heading out to deeper water to try our hand at catching whitefish. So let's head to historic Door County for an early morning wake-up call right now. My name is Dale Strohshine and uh, I run the Wacky Walleye Guide Service and we got a great day and I'm out here for walleyes with a good friend of mine, Kurt Walbeck, who uh, obviously I'm honored to be on his show with Outdoor Bound. What we're doing today is we're, we're chasing these big walleyes, Door County walleyes, and one thing that I've really be built my reputation on is, is, you know, targeting big fish, big walleyes especially, and I was fortunate enough back in March of March 21st of 1995 actually to catch the world record walleye. It was caught right here in Door County. And um, 
One of the things that we do when we're chasing these fish is it's really important, again, you know, whether you're chasing whitefish or walleyes or northerns, I always talk about mobility. And um, one thing that I always do when I come out and I target these walleyes is we, we drill a lot of holes and uh, kind of do some hole hopping. You want to you wanna kind of position yourself so that you've got a spot where you've got shallow water and deep water. And uh, typically what I like to do is start always out in the deeper water because the walleyes are going to transition with the sunlight. What I mean by transitioning with the sunlight, typically as this sun's up high like we've got it right now, these fish are always gonna be out in deeper water. And part of the reason is this water here is gin clear. Walleye's a very low light feeding fish. They're light sensitive. And even though we've got ice on, on, the, on the bay and a lot of snow, there's still a lot of sunlight in the water. So these fish will stay out typically in deep water. And then as the evening progresses, as soon as the sun sets, you wanna be pushing your way back up into shallower water. For those of you that are watching this show, you know uh, that we've had over 50 days this winter below zero. So that brings in a lot of high pressure. So these fish will typically stay deeper just to stay away from that pressure. It's more of a comfort zone for them. So they've been staying deeper. So this year we've been really targeting a lot of deep water. And uh, this afternoon right now, we're sitting out in about 36 to 39 feet of water. One thing I like to do is I, I use a lot of oddball jigs and I'm using an emerald shiner as you can see right here. And uh, we're accompanying this with, uh, I've got a, a eight pound floral carbon leader here. I've got a barrel swivel sitting right here. And the reason that we run the barrel swivels primarily is to cut down on the line twist. You, you really, if you come out and fish a lot or if you even fish, you know, just a few weekends, that's something you might want to try, just putting a barrel swivel in just to cut down on your line twist. Basically what we do here, we're gonna send the jig down to the bottom. A lot of these fish at this time of the year are gonna be staying right tight to the bottom. So I'm going to feed the line down. Once we get down to the bottom. Okay, there I'm on bottom. It's not taking out any more line. I'm going to engage the bale. Make sure, of course, everything's good. And then I'm going to kind of reel up here just so that my tip's almost touching the water and that's where I'm taunting. I'm right on the bottom right now. And then at that point, I'm just going to bring it up about 12 inches. And then it's just a nice little hop and a pause like this is all you're going to do. It's about a three to a 10 second interval on the, on the hops. You want to pause there about three to 10 seconds. When you've got a lot of high pressure days, I try to use that longer pause up to 10 seconds. On the days like we've got today, we've got a little cloud cover in here and stuff, which is a little better. I use a little bit shorter pause and about 90% of the bites, you're just going to be holding like this. You're going to do a hop and a pause and hold, and then you're just going to get the thunk. And when you get that big crack, you want to set the hook hard. And one thing about these fish here, they have a tendency really to charge the hole. So you want to make sure that uh, you're staying with them. If you feel that line starting to go slack, you're really going to have to double time it to keep up with them. Another thing we do once in a while, just maybe to draw a fish, and if you watch here, I'm doing this hop and the pause. Once in a while what we'll do is we'll just go down, tap the bottom two, three, four times like this and then just bring it back up and hold it and be ready because a lot of times you can get bit right here. Uh, some of the bites which I refer to more as a negative bite, you're just going to come up and feel dead weight and uh, those are really difficult to catch because they just kind of catch you with your pants down if you will. One thing also about these walleyes that I noticed is uh, if you miss a fish or you lose one, right near the bottom, just reel up quick, check your bait, make sure your bait's good, send it back in, and a lot of times when you send it back down, they'll bite right again, even if you had them hooked up. <laughs> what did you do? Pound the bottom, lifted it oh, up, and just bottom, I'm, I'm teaching it. them too many tricks. <laughs> Too many tricks. I get all the tricks are getting let out of the bag today, boy. And I'm 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 thinking by the oh yeah, close, 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 close. Oh yeah, good job, yeah. Caleb. Holy cray, look yeah. at that! I'll tell you what, the old lad ball right through the beak. Yep. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful Door County walleye right there. Don't get any better than that. Yeah, you got that right. Nice job. 
Just so you guys know what we're doing with these things too is we, we come out here, we tip these oddballs a lot of times with uh, lake shiners. You're using like a three to a four inch emerald shiner. A lot of times we'll use a number five jigging wrap and then we're just using the head of the emerald shiner. And uh, But the last week right now, they just had a preference for these oddballs. And as you can see, it's good results. Nice shot, yeah. man. Thank you. <laughs> well, here, I'm gonna let you hold your fish. Yeah. So, all right. Hey folks, uh, we're out here on the Bay of Green Bay this morning fishing for walleyes and uh, we're in the Sturgeon Bay area. Uh, the walleye bite out here is typically a kind of a low light bite so we were out here bright and early at the before the break of dawn and uh, we've been fishing uh, basically uh, mostly oddball jigs with about a three inch shiner on it and the technique is kind of keep the jig up off the bottom uh, about a foot eight inches to a foot off the bottom give it a good twitch every now and again and uh, wait for a walleye to come through and and hopefully smack the jig they seem to be pretty few and far between but you know when you get a bite it's it's a good one uh, and in this area here there's some really nice walleye so we're hoping to, to connect with a one or two nice walleyes this morning before we head out to deeper water and do some white fishing later this afternoon. So we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah. Take a line. Yeah. <laughs> I like that hole, I know well, that. Oh, he's in the hole, there he goes. It's a good fish. Feels like it. Gaining ground on it? A little bit. <laughs> well, I tell you, the way he got to the bottom of the hole and then took off going again. Looks yeah, like he just kind of came size, up and yeah. then... Bale said they charge, they charge a hole sometimes out here. Well, it's been a bit slow this morning. We got out just before daylight and got in and just haven't been seeing fish, haven't been graphing fish, but uh, Mike let out a yell that fish was on, so let's see if we can get this guy in. He looks like he's pretty good size. <laughs> I, I guess that's pretty good size. I'm gonna do a Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> that one's coming home, I think. That that's is gonna be a, 29, man. That is a fantastic Door County Green Bay walleye. Congratulations, Mike. That's wow. an awesome fish. Here, I'll good guiding. <laughs> well, we're out here on the Bay of Green Bay. We're in the uh, Sturgeon Bay area guided by a wacky walleye guide service. We got out here early this morning before daybreak and uh, I don't know, we had a good hour and a half in before we got a little action and uh, we pulled this bad boy out of the water. It's a beautiful fish, it's 30 plus inches and for me it's a fish of a lifetime. Well, it truly is a fish to be proud of, Mike. Congratulations, that is an awesome Green Bay walleye. Folks, if you're interested in coming out here on Green Bay uh, in the Door County area, feel free to look up Dale Stroshine at Wacky Walleye Guide Service or Sand Bay Beach Resort. They have great accommodations here, and we're just out in front of the resort right now, and as you can see, there's certainly some quality walleyes here. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Kubota, Rue Motors, Smith Brothers Meats, and MBS. Now is the time to go to your local Kubota dealer and get great financing on a brand new, powerful, feature-loaded Kubota Standard L-Series tractor during our Gear Up and Go sales event. With Kubota, you get durability, versatility, and value. Make a great deal on a Kubota L-Series with zero down and 0% APR financing for up to 60 months during Kubota's Gear Up and Go sales event. Go to WausauAreaKubotaDealers.com and get something started today. Hi, I'm Tim Rue from Rue Motors. 
Whether work or play, we have the Kubota tractor or RTV for you. Rue Motors has been serving central Wisconsin since 1947 with a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Backed by four generations, you can count on the staff at Rue Motors for outstanding sales and service on all of your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Burnhamwood or Anigo. A family tradition since 1984, Smith Brothers Meats is known for our huge selection of fresh-cut meats, cheese, and quality meat processing. Let Smith Brothers Meats cater your next big event. We serve from 50 up to 2,000 people. Or grill your own cuts of Smith Brothers Meats to perfection on a handcrafted wood pellet grill, now available. Avid Hunter, we can process your venison and wild game year-round. Visit us online to learn more or stop in today. Smith Brothers Meats, Colby, Wisconsin. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. We love to see the photos of the fish you catch and the animals you harvest here on Outdoor Bound TV. And this season, there are some incredible prizes just for sharing your pictures with us here on the show. Winning entries will be selected to receive great prizes, including an assortment of plastic baits from Woodcraft Lures, a professional fish mounting by Mike Liga Taxidermy, a rugged Yeti cooler from Petrix Service Station, or the grand prize, a salmon fishing trip aboard the Grand Illusion 2 on Lake Michigan with Hosh Guide Service. You can submit your photos on the Outdoor Bound TV Facebook page, tag your picture on Twitter, or email your entry to photos at outdoorbound.tv. Be sure to include your full name and hometown with each entry. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photos. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. gear up for it's going to be a cold ride. After a quick break and some piping hot pizzas for lunch, we head back out onto the frozen waters of Green Bay to meet up with Dale at one of his favorite whitefish shanties. Where are you finding them? Uh, right now, there's a little bit of a ledge here, like these guys are in 68. And right over there where my bucket is about 54. So it uh, really doesn't matter. You just think just kind of spread out here and yeah. try to, yeah, which you way do you jump. want us to go in? You can just, if you want to go just that way a little bit, it's okay. fine. Okay, perfect. Today we're out on the Bay of Green Bay and uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit about whitefish fishing. And the thing about whitefish is it's very technical. It's a very technical bite, but in the same token, it's a lot of fun and every day is a new challenge when it comes to these whitefish. First of all, I can tell you that they're extremely spooky fish. 
Just as simple as closing a shanty door in 70 feet of water with an underwater camera, we've learned that these fish are extremely spooky. Another thing where people make big mistakes is when they catch these fish, they have a tendency to throw them outside the shacks. When you throw them outside on a cold day and they freeze, when you bring them back and you thaw them out and you go to clean them, they'll turn into jelly. You want to always bring like an insulated cooler along or an insulated bag or something like that and stow them inside there so they'll stay a lot fresher. Hey folks, Mike Serwa from Hatley, Wisconsin. And we're here today on the Bay of Green Bay fishing whitefish with Outdoor Bound TV. And so far the luck's been pretty good. The weather's been kind of rough, but the fishing's been hot. We're fishing in about 42 feet of water. And uh, using jigging Rapalas, basically just no bait, just jigging Rapala, and that seems to be what the fish like today. almost got away. <laughs> so that's what we're doing and having some luck at it. Today what we're using is I've got six pound fire line here and I've got it accompanied with a, a 10 pound floral carbon leader. And the reason that we're doing this is again, they're a little line sensitive but more importantly, why we're using the floral carbon is the, the fire line isn't as resilient to the zebra mussels that most of the lakes that we fish for these whitefish. It's not as resilient to the abrasion where the floral carbon is. The floral carbon will take a lot more abuse than actually the fire line. So that's one of the reasons that we go over to the floral carbon leaders. We're using a number three jigging shad wrap. And as you look, it hangs horizontal. And the advantage to a horizontal bait versus a vertical bait is when the fish actually comes up and bites this, they come in and bite it and the fish is horizontal, but when they come in and actually bite this, they're grabbing these two hooks typically up here in either the front of the bait or in the back of the bait. And the advantage of that is your hooking percentages go way up, but also your loss percentages go way down. Looks like we got a few in the depth finder today. Looks like we got a few down there. Hopefully one of these hit. There he is. Finally one took that jig Nepella. Little scrapper. Here he comes. Here he is. We're currently fishing about 55 feet of water right now as we speak. There's bottom, we're on bottom right now. What I'm gonna do is just lift up about a half inch and it's just real light lifts like this. And the key is to make sure that you're, you have contact with the jig at all times on your up and your down. So you're gonna go very, very slow like this. The other thing is whitefish are very curious. So what we do a lot of times is, right now I'm just pounding the bottom here, because the more that I pound the bottom, the more that I'm actually gonna bring in a captive audience. So once I pound the bottom like this a handful of times, I'm gonna bring it back up that half inch, and it's just real light lifts like this now, and I'm looking for a bite here. Now you gotta remember, while you're doing this, you can get bit anywhere in between. You can get a bite when you're pounding the bottom, you can get a bite right now. And once in a while, what we'll do too is go back, tap bottom here a few times, and then I'll just throw a big couple of big lifts in. Here I'm not real concerned about being in contact with the jig. More here what I'm trying to do is if a fish is five or 10 feet away from me, I'm trying to lure him in again here so I've got a little bit of a captive audience. Now I'm gonna go back, make sure I'm on bottom. There's bottom, I'm gonna bring it up again here in a little half inch, and just real light lifts like this. You know, when I do this, like I said, I really concentrate on what I'm doing because these bites are so very, very subtle. Ooh, 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 come on. I got one in there. Come on. Yeah. 
again, you know, patience with this, being persistent, watch what you're doing, and uh, pay attention to details when it comes to this whitefish because they can be very, very challenging day in and day out. And I'll tell you what, that is a beautiful Door County whitefish right there. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission, HHA Sports, True Fire Releases, and Suffix. This is my life, the weekend warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows. To the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for optimizer at a dealer near you. Well Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my TrueFire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my TrueFire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a Hardcore Four Finger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the TrueFire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Suffolk Safe 32 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk 832, always use the best line product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. If you'd like to join us for the 2015 Outdoor Bound TV Walleye and Whitefish Weekend on Green Bay, here's all the details. Visit the website or call today to reserve your spot for a weekend of fun and fishing action with Dale Strohshine and the Outdoor Bound TV crew. We hope you'll join us on the ice this February. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. It's an honor to be on the show always, of course. And Kurt's the opportunity. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Hang on, let's try it again. I'm Dale Strohshine. Oh, I forget the name of Kurt's uh, North, what is it, North what? Mm -hmm.